David's Dream Journal. Last night I had a dream. I was at a hole in the wall coffee donut shop, and this girl I like was working there with a bridal veil on. So I order a cup of coffee and she rings me up, giving me my change, and brings out a medium sized cup full of fruit nectar. I had this dream about a whale who wanted to win a rodeo, so he left the Atlantic and came to America where he rode many Harrier jets with the monster truck wheels on them and lost the competition but vowed to come back and try again in good spirits. A couple of years ago I had a dream I felt was Academy Award worthy as I fell asleep to John Mayer's Dream with a Broken Heart instrumental on repeat. The dream revolved around this couple. The part of me was played by Joseph Gordon-Levitt and this girl I like was played by some random girl we'll call Jackie. They spent the day walking around a park playing catch up with one another as each one expressed their thoughts in a very nerve wracking yet calm, unsubtle way. They locked hands and as they turned to face one another shared a very intimate, long, passionate, caring kiss. As the kiss altered to Joseph Gordon-Levitt drinking from a water fountain and in a very sincere, soft-spoken voice said, This one's going into the vault. And I woke up. David's Dream Journal I just woke up from some weird dream. I dreamt me and the boys from Duck Dynasty got in trouble with the dudes from Jackass as we sat in Willie's office with the garden hose making ice cream out of doo doo butter which was human shit and bananas to feed some snapping turtles we found in a swamp. And by the end of it, I ended up at Chili's restaurant eating lobster tails as an appetizer with my cousin Alex. I had another weird dream that started out cool, with Bruce Willis riding a train. It had the chick from Girl Next Door and Harold from Harold and Kumar. The ending was a little strange though. It involved this girl I liked and to spider her boyfriend at the time, I stole his mini bike and rode it around a Chuck E. Cheese. I just had a dream. I was in a living cartoon version of Goof Troops, and I was a professional skateboarder. As I made my way to my friend's cousin's apartment, where the rumor there was that Mr. T had whooped my ass and had taken the chain from my wallet for eating an olive out of some guy's martini at some random nightclub. David's Dream Journal So last night, as I fell asleep, listening to the Super Mario soundtrack I had made, I ended up dreaming I was some homeless dude in Grand Theft Auto and or Twisted Metal. I can't really remember which one though, as I beat this grueling tournament and was just reflecting by some water fountain at some random park. Fuck dude. I had me about 5 cups of coffee and knocked out. I dreamt I was Super Mario in the Treasure Cove level in Mario 64, and I got in a fight with some guy and turned all Hannibal Lecter on him, only to find out the dude was made of sushi on the inside. Should I be worried? Nah, I'm just messing around. According to the Dream Dictionary, cannibalism can illustrate the emotional toll I have on people. Still kinda messed up though. I had a dream I was cruising around my old neighborhood as I made a stop at my grandparents' house. And as I entered the yard, I noticed this girl I like was sitting on the porch. So unsure of what to do, I get back in the car and drive off looking for a cop to chase me down as I get into this high speed pursuit forcing them to gun me down. Once I was shot dead, I ascended to this map looking layout of the universe, where I had the option of going to this cathedral on some celestial plane and traveled there. 
The cathedral was flooded, where at that very moment I became Super Mario floating in a pool of water, wearing Daisy's dress with a single bob -omb that had it gone extinguished, as Peach very surprisingly stared in my direction and said, Mario? And I woke up. David's Dream Journal Damn, dude. I just had a dream where I was kidnapped by my peers from a hotel room and taken deep into the mountain forest area with no clothes, five cigarettes at this mansion somewhere in the woods. And as I was walking around, I got into a fight with four guys as the crowd of people around me started pummeling me, and I heard a voice say, damn, he's not waking up. Well, anyway, I wake up and walk around totally unfazed by the incident, where I had found out it was a large cult meeting for the devil and simply walked away. The other night, I had a nightmare a couple of days before my 30th birthday. I was at some schoolyard with a number of people I went to high school with, as they were celebrating my birthday, but seeing as it was all the popular kids I went to school with, I had no interest in partying with them. As I made my way to some office across campus, I sat in a room and played a board game with my friend Marcos. As I heard a noise in the next room over, I looked over my shoulder and told Marcos that there was this girl named Nicole washing herself in the sink, and to see what she was doing. He gets up and walks over as she is quietly singing to herself. Marcos notices she was washing blood off her body as we started to freak out and took a knife away from her. She stabbed all the popular kids. As she gets up unsure what to do, I grabbed a pitchfork and started stabbing her multiple times as she lay there naked in a pool of blood. It broke my heart witnessing something like that when I woke up. David's Dream Journal. Give me a hell yeah! I said give me a hell yeah! I just dreamt I was in a living cartoon. And I have to say, cartoon violence is not fun. I dreamt I was at a family event and there was this dog that came to attack me every time I tried to make my way to the party. Kind of like Tom and Jerry, and by the end of it, he turned into the Undertaker and was punching me in the face. Ouch. I had a dream where Mike Tyson and Kermit the Frog were trying to start a fight with me. Last night I had a dream I was a rock Dwayne Johnson, as I was in a wrestling match against Farouk until Stone Cold showed up and tried running me over with the big rig, chasing me all over the neighborhood. As I heard the announcers narrating the whole thing, up until I woke up to find my brother had wrestling videos playing on his TV all night. David's Dream Journal I think the gnome on my parents' lawn is planning to kill me for smashing one of their own when I was a child. Just had a weird dream as I woke up to the sound of the pittering and pattering of little ceramic feet walking around in my room. I just had this dream. I got to write an X-Files episode and watch it come to life as the series of murders were being mimicked through stone marble paintings on the floor. Or perhaps the stone paintings have more to do with the murders and Mulder and Scully will let up. I just woke up from a dream where I went to SeaWorld with my family, and I stole Neil Patrick Harris' spy camera. 
while my friends Memo and Mario were snapping photos like they were secret operatives trying to work on the inside. I go to see the beluga whales, and there's this ferocious one in the tank swimming in circles. Well, the tank ends up breaking as me, my Uncle Ricky, and Aunt Olivia all started running from a man who appeared to be in a sea monster costume, like the monster of the Blue Lagoon, screaming like the Simpsons as if we were in a Scooby-Doo cartoon. I bet it's Neil Patrick Harris behind that mask. David's Dream Journal I had this dream where I was at school and I was at one of those hearing test trailers as it was me and this other girl who were being examined. For whatever reason, I turned and started to restrain her as I fed her a couple of Reese's pieces and walked away listening to her scream in terror. I went into the cafeteria where I saw this very angry cheeseburger hopping across the tables. It where at that very moment Melissa Joan Hart stood up and stared in its direction and said, God? One night I had a dream where I had to get up and watch TV. Unaware that I was asleep, I turned on the television and start watching this channel that had a theater room full of puppet looking creatures. As I gazed to see what was going to happen, they were just sitting there not realizing they were actually watching me from the other side of the screen. Kind of freaked me out. Back in the day I had this dream where I was walking down the hall of my grandmother's apartment and as I passed by her room, I noticed there was this girl I used to like, uh, being harmed by some dude in a trench coat. As I strolled on by and woke up, after realizing what I had seen in my dreams, I forced myself to fall back asleep and walk back into that room and beat his ass with quickness. David's Dream Journal. Hey, listen, watch out! There I just had this dream. I was a fisherman and found a talking dragon slash Loch Ness monster smoking a pipe after a heavy windstorm. I had a dream that I was Jim Morrison and I had secretly invented Jello back in Vietnam as Rayman Zarek appeared and told me the word Meryl comes from the word miracle. FYI, Jello does contain certain amounts of animal Meryl. I dreamt I went to Popeyes after a Bible study to get that Popeyes pull apart chicken. As I strolled over to the window to pay the lady for my meal, I started pulling apart an ordinary chicken breast and paid the lady in chicken. David's Dream Journal Shut up! I had a dream I was down in the sewer with a ninja turtle smoking turtle weed. When an evil shredder murdered the turtles and they somehow passed their genes to lizards when the shredder shredded them to pieces. I just had a dream where I went to this barber shop and the barbers there were being jerks and thought it would be funny if they shaved off my beard, only to find that they practiced Santeria in the shop as me, Robin Williams, and the dude from Honey I Shrunk the Kids had to fight off possessed toys. I think I will title this dream Little Barber Shop of Horrors. I had a dream I was crawling around a sea of blankets trying to locate my cat. The Ninja Turtles made an appearance but didn't have very much good luck the deeper I crawled into the underbelly of my room in blankets.
One night, I had a dream I was looking for this girl I used to like, as I followed this path that took me to Whoville, where there was this blue anteater that had approached me, and took me straight to her. I had a dream. I was hanging out with Peach at the Mushroom Kingdom when Bowser came and had kidnapped her. I chased him down through this very lush looking jungle canyon where we came to this giant mushroom hanging off the edge of a cliff and jumped in. It took me to this conveyor belt in the sky where I had a view of this gorgeous sunrise as I fell off the ledge and landed straight into the Nintendo universe. Lately I've been having some crazy dreams. A couple of weeks ago I had one where I was standing on the ledge of a really tall building. As the air was filled with the spirit, the dream looked very red and smoggy like a thick blanket polluting the air and had a very quiet melancholy feel to it. Connected through words and passages expressed through me and the Lord as I filled the air with the last bit of pencil shavings which represented the, all the mental effort I had put into saving this world. I took a leap of faith as I plummeted to my death, smashing my head on the concrete below. I had a dream I was in Indonesia, surrounded by panthers, when all of a sudden they started lunging at me. So I stood my ground, and as soon as one pounced at me, I punched it in the head, where it then turned into a man who shot me in the face twice. And as I wrestled him for the gun, I started to move his arm, and just as soon as I was going to make him shoot himself in the head, I woke up. I had a dream where I was standing in my room and I traveled to another dimension as I found myself standing in another house. I walked into the living room where I saw a guy talking on the phone and told him I had traveled there from another world. 
He had a very concerned look on his face as he gathered other people to fuck me up. I climbed onto the roof. And found myself in an alleyway. Where this guy with the machine gun rushed me and started lighting me up. And I pulled out a knife from my pocket as I started charging at him screaming fucking devil. And gutted him while he lay there gasping for air on the floor. And I woke up. I had a dream I was linked from the Legend of Zelda as I found myself roaming through the vast fields of Hyrule, chasing a pegasus in the air. As I came across a couple of villager kids, they stopped and stared in my direction where I had said, It is I, the hero of time, as they stared back in my direction and said, He got fat. Hey! I just had a dream where P. Diddy picked me up at my grandma's house and I got a ride around Los Angeles in a fancy car with some big booty chick sitting in the front seat. As we then pulled up to Alhambra Park where I saw another big booty chick stretching getting ready to exercise. So I get out to talk to her and P. Diddy pulls a gun on me ready to shoot me in the back of the head as he turned into my little brother Anthony who tried slicing my throat with the key. As God made a statement at that very moment saying something about me brushing my teeth then said he was going to take matters into his own hands as all my teeth fell out of my mouth. The end. Oh,